So here's how we do the Vesper determination for the molecular geometry for the chloride ion, ClO3 minus. And I'm not going to do the, the dot structure here because we've, we've done a couple of examples. Uh, I will point out the one thing you've got to make sure you keep, in, keep track of is that little minus sign there. And we've got to add in an extra electron because of that minus sign. So when we do uh, the dot structure, we should get something like this. We get a chlorine. Each of the oxygens are attached to it with a single bond. And then there's a lone pair right there. And so we see that we've got four electron groups. We've got a lone pair, and we've got three bonding pairs around that chlorine. I guess I should add the other lone pairs in the oxygens. They don't really affect anything here, but we want to be correct in how we portray this. So um, we've got four electron groups around that chlorine atom. So the electron group geometry is tetrahedral. Okay, that's for the electron group. Now, when we're looking at the molecular geometry, uh, we need to refer to the table, and we see that we've got three bonding pairs in green, and we've got one lone pair that's up there circled in blue. And when we look up that geometry, what we see is the molecular geometry is trigonal pyramid. And if we look at the bond angles, uh, because of that lone pair, pushing those bonding pairs in a little bit, about 2 degrees, we get a bond angle of about 107.